you know, I must say I'm very impressed with the movie Black Panther. I'm very impressed with the cast. I'm very impressed with just the overall uh, buildup of the movie so far, even though I have not seen it yet. But I will support it when it comes out uh, February 16th. And that's the perfect time because that's around that's right around my wife's birthday. So I'm going to take her out to go see that movie um, around that time. So. But yeah, I mean, I, I'm looking at the photos of the premiere that happened yesterday, and um, I'm loving the the attire, the African attire that all the cast members have um, went out on the red carpet and uh, did their little photo shoots there. You know, um, I'm very impressed with the cast and everything, man. This is a this is this represents the essence of black excellence. In my opinion, you know, um, this is this is great. I'm definitely going to support this movie um, to. I did a video yesterday talking about, you know, the meme of, uh, you know, the so-called black conscious community, the whole tap, the whole tap people, the whole tap folks complaining about. Black people shouldn't spend their money on this movie. They should just build the actual city itself, you know. Um, you know, like I said in the video yesterday, the whole point of that video, and I had some somebody making a, making a comment about. They took what I said out of context about um, how we're using white-owned platforms, social media platforms, to voice our concerns about black issues. That wasn't the point of that video yesterday. The point of the video yesterday was all the time and energy you use to complain about something, right? You can utilize that same energy to replace or build things that you want to see get done in black society. That's the point of me. That's the point of that video yesterday, right? So, yeah, I mean, you know, you have people who are, like I said before, you got people who are auditory or um, audio learners right or visual learners either way how you learn you can take things out of context but again that you know what i said in that video basically was the whole point of that video was that people complaining about black folks spending their money on a movie in the entertainment industry you complaining about it that same energy can be utilized to do something tangible, such as build a Wakanda-like city. That was the point of that video yesterday, right? And you can still go out and see this movie, support it, and do the same thing simultaneously. So, you know, <laughs> it is what it is. But, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm loving the photos here, man. These are great, great stuff. I didn't know that Michael B. Jordan will be the villain. I'm looking forward to see his role in that. I've heard that um oh yeah this <clears throat> this sister here um stole the show in, in her performance when I'm when I was reading some comments from some of viewers um so far the reviews have been very positive um they're saying they they're, they're comparing this to Star Wars in terms of build up for this movie and you know so it looks like this is going to be a great film looks like this will be a franchise so there's going to be many you know sequels and versions and um spin-offs of this movie um in the future and i'm looking forward to going out and watching it and supporting it you know and you can say what you want about you know again we live in a system of racism white supremacy so you can say what you want about the movie being financed by white people and it's being distributed by a white owned, you know, um, film company, a film studio, rather. Uh, you know, you can you say what you want about that. You can say what you want about some of the cast members dating uh, their European counterparts. There's always somebody nitpicking about something. You know what I mean? It's always somebody nitpicking about something, complaining about something. All right. There's uh, George Lucas with his wife, you know. But at the end of the day, this is still black excellence. All right. 
There's Stan Lee. Stan Lee is what is it in his 90s? Shout out to him. He's still in his 90s upright. You know. Seems to be in good health and good spirits. So shout out to him. Still doing his thing. But yeah. Um, yeah, this is a movie I'm definitely gonna support. I'm gonna try to see, I'm gonna try to look for some uh advanced um movies movie tickets because i do get alerts on advanced movie screenings so i'm gonna try to get that done i do have a method on getting advanced movie screenings um if you haven't just look up how to i'll put a link down in the description as well if i can if not just google um or youtube how to get advanced movie tickets gmoji media tv i have a step-by-step um video on how to do that but yeah i'm gonna try to get the advanced screening and then also go ahead and see the movie again when it premieres february the 16th so i'm looking forward to that man this is this is great this is good stuff man i'm I'm just happy to look at these photos when i look at these photos not only do i feel um excited about the film i feel excited about black society when i see the visuals of the cast members, I this is great. This this makes me feel good, you know. So uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to watching this movie and supporting it. You know what I mean, and building a Wakanda at the same time, right? So, all right, family, that's what I got for now. Leave me, leave your comments down below about the movie. Let me know if you guys are going to see it when it premieres. Um, just let me know what you guys think about the movie itself, uh, Black Panther. All right, family. Until next time, Chauncey, a.k.a. The Black Separatists, signing out. Peace.